Hello and welcome back to survival mode in a Space Engineers. So this was originally going to be out on Friday, but they decided to release some new DLC and updates and all that, so I had to look at that first. But what has happened since the previous video? Well, I've managed to find some gold and I've managed to find some whatever the other thing was I was looking for. It's in here somewhere. Uh, that's uranium, platinum, gold! There is gold! So it's somewhere around here, over there, 30 kilometers away, I managed to find some gold, which resolved the issue of needing that for the old modules and whatnot. So let's just go and turn that off. I also found a possible spider den in an asteroid. It was an asteroid that has been tunneled out. It looked like it had been done by voxel hands, but the tunnels kept going. It was like something out of EDF. Oh, well, Earth Defense Force, if you don't know what that is. Good game. So yes, since last time, I have finished building modules. I've added a few more, so I've got so I've got three yield modules and one speed module on the refinery, and I've got two speed modules on the assembler to get things going. I have let the bobs start the building of the little hydrogen miner, which is right here. They've sort of got a bit of a shuffle on. I've also limited where the bobs can go, so they won't start building the fortress just yet. They're only going to do the mining area and pick up any stone around here. The other thing is I've built this. So what this is, is basically a gravel ejector. I've got a sorter on there that will pull out any gravel and it will eject it out because if you're mining a lot of stone, you're going to get a lot of gravel and you don't really need much gravel. The one problem I do have, which I need to fix right now, is the bobs, which are these things here, which help me build and pick up any resources that have been dropped, were basically picking it up when it was getting ejected. It's out of their range, so I don't know why they're doing it, but they were just picking it up as it was pooped out. So I need to find the build and repair systems. I would like you to disable gravel. There we go, so that should now work, and it should just go and deal with that. So for today's video, what I want to do is finish off the hydrogen ship and continue working on this. So I'll need a name for the hydrogen ship and that'll be for the next video where it gets named. I saw that. They haven't come over yet, those pirates. Speaking of pirates, what I'm going to do after this video is, well, after this series, because basically um, I fully finalised what I want to do. So I'm going to build this giant ship over here. I'm going to take it back down to the Earth-like planet, connect it to my original base, take that to space, and then go to Mars and land on Mars, and I'll consider this complete. Because what I want to do next is a first-person only Armageddon mode heavily modded playthrough, where I'm going to try and get the five-hour survival achievement, which I believe you are not allowed to die in. But when I say heavily modded, I'm going to do things like modular encounters and like the swarm ships, glitchy ships and all that. I'll throw a screenshot on this screen so you can sort of see what you can expect. That screenshot is from my private survival game with my friend where we're doing the Never Surrender game mode. We're currently preparing our ships and all that before we go and jump over to the actual place to defend. But they just sent a lot of enemies at you, like wow. And it gets even worse if you have any modded weapons installed any of them the enemies can come equipped with them so what we've been having is occasionally we'll get sent like seven enemy drones and they all have rail guns on them and yes that includes the rail gun script so it can penetrate through blocks penetrate through asteroids and all that so our only way to combat it is by using a shield mod but it's great though it leaves you really on your toes, because sometimes you'll get the PDC mods, which are like the super powerful turrets. Other times you can get the battleship cannons, laser cannons and all that. Everything you've basically seen showcased on my videos can be included in that mod. It's amazing. So I thought it'd be quite interesting, because the Armageddon mode isn't actually a threat in itself. Even if you just purely build on the surface and don't build under the ground, it's still very easy to avoid the meteors dropping down. I was going to call them asteroids, but yeah, imagine asteroids dropping on your head. That would be amazing. So just going to keep mining away this. I think I am completely out of range of the little build and repair. No, I'm still in range. Range? 
No, still in range. Ugh, cannot speak today. Yeah, let's keep refining that. Productions, uh, build some more metal grids. In fact, I'll need to double build the metal grids. Which should be enough to do that. So that is the... Actually, that's nearly complete, isn't it? So all I need to do from here is build the forwards and backwards thrusters. Ah, oh, actually, actually, yes, I could do that. If I was to delete this... Let's just go like that, and then put in a junction. Uh, where's my brown junction? That should be okay like that, because then I could have two forwards. In fact, I'll go with four forwards. Go with you. So I don't have to get the ship all the way in. It's not going to be like my normal drill ships that I usually do. I don't think I've ever shown them, which are simply a massive square cube of drills that you just reverse the ship into the asteroid or into the ground. The ship itself disappears in the ground, so you could just hide it in there. But yeah, that's basically how my ships usually go. They're not exactly elegant, but they do. So I need some steel plates for that. Let's just come over to here. Uh, steel plates. There we go. Then I want to have a thruster. Thruster. Thruster, thruster. I like having extra thrust at the front so you can stop in time. It doesn't really matter about going forwards, but that does mean I can remove this. Like that. And then put a thruster on the very back. So, let's take a look at... Um, I'll need this to be sorted by a date. When it loads. I hate this whole freezing process. So, let's sort by date. Static grid... Number 5307, 8,000 blocks. So yes, this right here is an asteroid base that has been turned into a ship, basically. Stop building, stop building it. Ay ay ay. Hold on a second, I need to, I need to switch these off. Where are the build and repair systems? Right, they have been switched off so they won't start building this while I'm trying to talk about it. So over here is what was an asteroid base. I don't really want to paste it in, but I will do anyway. So um, so this right here was an asteroid base. This isn't the final version of it. I've got a much more complete version, but I didn't get a blueprint of that in time. So it was an asteroid base, right? It was built into an asteroid to protect ourselves because we're trying to do the never surrender game mode. And I converted it into a ship. So over here we have the Great Mining Pit, which was covered up by some modded hangar doors. The mining pit proved to be absolutely worthless because no ships could actually fit into it. Coming inside, so this was the original entrance. The flooring over here did not exist, this would all be stone. And well, basically everything beyond this point didn't exist, I added that in later. So we'd come into our base and we'd have these oxygen tanks right here. Right? In fact, where are the build and repair systems? I know there's loads on here. Please switch these off. Thank you. We have our auction tanks, which then all be looped in. We then have, well, we've got modded connectors, which is why they're missing there. There'll be a modded connector there, modded connector there. Yes, we've got our DLC blocks where we can look out over at the asteroids and see all that. And then we could come down here. So this would go directly down into the asteroid. So. The blocks around here didn't exist, this would basically be a cave. And, oh, the flooring's actually missing, so a connector's supposed to be here. Yes, yeah, so we'd walk along the stony floor, we'd have our shield generators in here, which don't exist anymore. We'd come along our modded conveyors. We'd then go to our medical bay and all that, so that was all that. And that was basically it of the whole asteroid base. If I was to just quickly pop through here, we then come through here. Behind the, these blocks around here would be another large shield generator. And opening up these doors. This right here used to be ignoring the stairs. Let's just come around here. So this right here was going to be our hangar, little hangar door. So we'd have hangar doors on the top there and we could land ships inside. But since there were so many enemy ships being thrown at us, we had a surplus of resources that we had to turn it into a pit of large cargo containers. 
fact, I don't even know if we can see the resources in here. Where they got... Yeah, they did get pasted in. So we had tons of resources in here. That's not all, because my friend built a ship and would draw everything out of it. Because we're going to use his ship over mine. And yes. but So we had this in the pit, but how did we remove it from the asteroid, you are asking? Or probably not asking, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Well, space engineers magic, basically. One day, the game just said no. And the whole base became collisionless, basically. It lost all collision and fell out of the asteroid. So we had to copy and paste it outside the asteroid, which resulted in this thing right here. We we're going to use it as a simple space base just to like leave and then we're going to deconstruct it later on. But I decided to turn it into a ship. We had a massive auction farm going off into the distance, but I decided to move them onto this newly created deck. Up here is the control room of how you'd fly it. Then we could come down through here past the steps. And then we could go through here past the shield generator room. If I was to come up here, there was originally a chair sitting there because we had a rail gun on top. But sadly, due to the great rail gun crisis of seven Reaver ships attacking us, we sort of lost it. Then we could drop down here, so this would be back in the inside of the asteroid. And then we could go down here, there'd be massive hangar bays here. And this is my mining ship I was talking about. I'm so glad it got copied in. So yes, it's basically a giant cube with a load of drills on the back of it. You basically reverse it into an asteroid and it just removes a massive chunk of it. And you could even park yourself inside an asteroid because, yeah, it just fits so snugly. We got this. There's nothing in here currently, but this was going to be a small fighter bay for us to store ships, maybe do some maintenance work. I even built a refinery on this because I was collecting so much stone that I needed to um, have a place to build it. All this was built in survival mode, by the way. Nothing in creative. Yes, my poor little ship. In here, survival bay. Up here would be the small shield generator that did not help me at all. <sighs> it was such a nice ship. But yeah, we can't see it. Oh yeah, back in the ship we have some hideous solar panels sitting there. Those solar panels... Let me just go back in there. Those solar panels right there would be sticking outside the back of the asteroid. Everything else would be sort of inside it. But yes, this is one of my more extreme bases. So let me just F5 that and quick load. Right, and here we are. I think I've got creative tools turned off again. Yep, so I'm back in the world. I've undone everything. I just reloaded the game. And how long have I been recording for? 30 minutes? Bloody hell. Yes, so 30 minutes have been done. Hopefully when I get my new internet, I'll be able to simply just trim out any mistakes I've made and upload it like this. Because that'd be quite nice for you to see absolutely everything that happens rather than just skipping out a load. So yes, what have we done today? Well, done a bit of mining. Finished off the mining ship, which I think has some fuel in it. See the tank. 3%. Do I want to risk this? Sure, let's risk this. Let's just do a grand finale thing, so let's disconnect myself. Um, there we go. And then, I would like to... Drill. Let's see how well this goes. Oh, that's a lot of smoke coming out the back there. <gasps> I just realised something. I'm a plonker. I don't have any up and... Actually, I do... No, I don't have any ups. Oh, no. Let me just do that. That should... So that's now going to very quickly build that. I should be okay now for the moment. I don't really need the forward thrust. Let me just turn my butt to it. There we go. Are we done? Yes, we're done so we can stop moving. It's now officially complete and it's time to check whether I can actually mine with this. I think it might damage the thrusters. Yeah, it's going to damage the thrusters. I actually saw quite a few negative responses on the Steam Workshop page to that DLC, and I fully understand why. I mean, you release a bunch of skins, but then don't include two of them? 
It's like, why? It would have been nice if they could. I'm kind of expecting them to eventually cave and add them. But it would have been very nice if they could just had them all in the pack. Oopsie, I'm a bit I'm a bit front heavy. I thought this was gonna be a problem, but oh well, it should work. Let's just drop myself down a bit. Because apparently that's a bit bigger hitbox than it's telling me. <gasps> oh no, the base. The base is moving. There we go. It should hopefully stop moving. I might need to put the other thrusters on. Uh oh, this is not good. Let me just switch them on. Yes, I'll just I'll just keep them on for the moment. <laughs> it's a little bit more heavier than I was thinking, and that, <laughs> that is not connected. That is really not connected. But no, that should have been a nice load of stone going into there. Great. That is all I have time for for today. So hopefully this hasn't been boring. I'll need a name for this lovely drill ship. I like that digital camera a lot. Yes. Anyway, yes, I'll need a name for this. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video next week. Bye-bye.